Hey everybody, how's it going? We got a quick little one, at least I hope it's quick. Talking about my KH1 today, my KH1 Elecraft portable handheld, you know, man portable, just can walk around or stand up and just use it, right? Simple CW type radio. I did a failed POTA activation where I got it into the field and, and you might see it here. I'm getting high SWR and I'm not getting any power output. Now I, I'm, I'm one of the first couple of people with this radio along with Thomas Witherspoon and some other groups that are part of a, a beta group. And I reached out to Elecraft and I, I talked to Wayne for a little while and we think we know what the issue was. It, it's a little MOSFET, one in particular little item, which we're going to try and replace right now. So let's see how it goes. I'll be using my microscope as well just to check the solder points. This is a surface mount part, but my understanding is this is easy enough to replace with just a typical pencil soldering iron, which is what we're going to attempt to do. So let's try it. Came in this uh, box here. Elecraft actually has fantastic support. They were like on the spot with sending me out a replacement part, and they actually sent me two. This is a small little MOSFET that we're going to try and replace and return to its glory, my KH-1. This is an incredibly small part. In fact, I, I will utilize the microscope for this because of how small it is. So let's just get that right in line there. That's them right there. Very, very small part. So just keep in mind, this is a little bit difficult. I will be using my tweezers for this as well. And let's get the battery out of this. So I, I probably showed this in the past when we did our first look at the KH-1. But basically you just pull this little lever here up and it will open or fold back the battery compartment. Battery's right here, which like makes up the majority of this radio. Now when you take a battery out of an Elecraft radio, you are advised to use the little plastic uh, bit here, which I have tucked underneath this little plastic guy here. And you just pull... I hold onto the charging board while I do it, and it should just pop right out. Really good. All right, so what are we what are we messing around with? Well, here's the antenna side, and here is the tuner board, and the part that we're replacing is this Q6. Let me show you that under the microscope. Here. All right, so under the microscope, Q6 is this guy right here. So what I'm told we can do, and yes, this is Wayne telling me to do this, is that we can use our soldering iron tip on this guy right there, and then using this screwdriver, apply a little bit of pressure, lift this pad off, and then uh, take our, our pencil, heat both parts up here, both legs, and this part should just come right off. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. Okay, so knowing what we got to do, I think I'm actually going to remove the door the door just comes off like that. There's literally just a slot that it, it slides into, and then it can fold over. I'm just going to pull it off for ease of use here. I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can here to the precise actions going on. Uh, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get. So you can see it. There's our guy right there. Difficult spot. Really difficult. Um, if this was me not doing this for the camera, I'd probably rotate it this way and come at it from this side like vertically like right over the top but uh, that isn't going to make a good video for the shot here so we're going to try and do it this way all right you know what? i'm going to apply a little bit of flux just a touch because we really don't oh. see i'm already off the off the shot this is kind of fiddly work here Okay, got it. I actually just used the edge of the iron with a little bit of help of the pliers to pull on it. Let me show you. We've got one side lifted. Let's go to the microscope. All right, see, we're, you're basically looking at the part vertically right now. And there's the pad, the excise pad. Pad looks fine, which is what I was worried about. But now I should just be able to... So I'm going to take the iron long ways... And we're going to kind of sweeping motion to get it heated until it comes away. There it is. It's gone. Just like that. Part's gone. Let's take a look at the pads before we do our next step. All right. There we go. Nice and clean. Uh, should be good. All right. Let's put our new part in. 
Do I want to use... Now, I don't think I want to use the hot air for this. I think that's just asking for trouble. But this is also such a tiny, tiny spot. Um, I'm going to apply a bit of solder to one leg. And then we're going to try and just uh, tap the other ones real fast. So this might go off camera for a second. But here we go. That's just a little touch of it. Okay, so now... Let's get our part out. Okay, there's our little buddy. <laughs> that is, that's a tiny boy. Okay. <laughs> Let's not breathe, everybody. I'm just going to touch the iron to the leg that you see right there, okay? Nobody breathe. Even you watching me right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Whew. Okay. Um. All right, we're going to have to add a little bit more solder to, to make the connections to the other feet. So let's do that carefully. Not a great solder. Let's see what it looks like on the microscope. Ooh, hold on. It's a little bit of flux in there. Uh, a little rough. Let's see, do we get the other leg? That's the one I'm not sure of. We definitely got those guys. Is this guy good enough? Let me see. Not the prettiest thing ever, and I definitely won't be uh, asked by Elecraft to come uh, take over for any of their people that <laughs> do soldering, although they're probably all manufacturing soldering now. But let, let me clean this off a little touch here. All right, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol here. Now let's take a look under the microscope, see if uh, I'm not a complete shame. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, that's not bad at all, guys. I did a serviceable job. Um, so if I'm critiquing my work, I should have just cleaned the pads off completely. Just, just, just completely cleaned them off because you can see there's a buildup right here. It's too much. This is also a little too much. This one's not bad. Oh, sorry. That isopropyl alcohol? It is. All right. By the way, I've got a link in the show notes to my Amazon store where I have some nominal items for soldering, like these little doctor's uh, push, you know, push button things you put alcohol in. These are fantastic. Normally they use these for like cotton swabs or whatever. I use them for paper towels to clean off flux pen. Flux pen is my favorite for flux ceramic tweezers, a number of doodads that you might need for soldering. So yeah, let's see if we can now turn the radio on. I think that's going to be our next step. So here we go. I don't remember exactly which way is on on this radio. So here we go. Okay, well, we've got life so that's good let's plug it back in well let's get its back back on it's back back let's get its back back uh let's get it on a dummy load so we're presenting a nice 50 ohm impedance okay let's plug it back in okay i'm gonna turn it on and we are going to or we're gonna set the key jack to hand key okay We'll go back and, oh, you see that? Power output, low SWR. So S meters, that is low, power is high. I think we got it. I gotta take a picture of this for Wayne, hold on. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. Okay, well, I think, 
I think we cracked it. I think we cracked the nut. So uh, showing a 50, giving it a 50 ohm impedance, our dummy load, the radio is now showing full power output with low SWR. But I guess you'll have to tune in for my next video when I take it back out in the field and hopefully get my first soda activation with it, or at least a couple of uh, contacts on a poda, and then I'll chicken out and go back to single sideband. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Again, links are in the description for some of my recommendations on how to become more proficient in soldering. You're taking you from through hole soldering all the way to surface mounts. I did a video on surface mounts not too long ago. It's actually not too difficult to do any factor of soldering. And the cool part is it's a really fun aspect of our already cool hobby. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you real soon on my next video or live stream. 73.